Hello Aquarians and cross watchers. So welcome to your video. Um, right before when I was shuffling the cards, right before I started the, the camera and doing my pre-shuffle, I heard your evolution is on fire. So there could be some um, some cards that come out to indicate that because in the pre-shuffle I saw the Ascended Masters and I also saw uh, a couple other cards that made me feel like your evolution is on fire you are moving beyond blockages and things that have kept you stuck anyway guys i'm going to start off with a message from the uh, spirit animal oracle or whatever the name of this is something similar to that um, spirit animal spirit of the animal oracle yes i want to let you know that you're so beautiful and needed in this world i want to thank you for being here and sharing your time and your energy with me and I want you to know that I value you. God values you. Okay? You are loved. There's no accidents. Okay? Everything is in your divine purpose here. First card out. Overall message here for this reading. We have Al. Magic. Choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let go of the past. Make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. So that means you can create. The magician in the tarot deck has all the tools, all the skills that they need to create the life that they want. And all the tools first begins with your imagination, your thought. You have to think it before you can bring it. So with that being in mind, once you think it, start imagining yourself there, feeling what it feels like to be there. Before you know it, everything that you need for that appears for that lifestyle. And in the pre-shuffle, it came out, you know, um, the Ascended Master was um, upright. And then I had the two trees that were reversed. And I had the little birdies trying to get out of the, the getting released was reversed. So that lets me know. Once you release something, and it could be releasing an idea, a concept, possibly a, a person, things are going to skyrocket for you, okay? Your evolution is going to be on fire. So let's see what wants to come out here. I have three tarot decks. I'm going to see what wants to come out, past, present, future, and then we are going to get into uh, a bonus card with Archangel Michael. Let me pull my microphone is dragging here. Give me a couple cards here for the past. I want to pull from each deck. Thank you. All right, so we got a few cards there. These were face down. We have the outsider looking in on the bottom here. Give me a card. We have basically you know going through something to get to the other side we have the hermit which is a card of aloneness all right it's a card of searching for your light it's also a card of virgo and then we have the guilt card and it's in reverse that's a lot of cards we have the guilt card in reverse and then we have what you didn't see what was face down the creator reverse and sorrow reverse so let go you know, go within deep enough to where you can let go of the baggage, let go of the guilt. Okay, let it go. Let it all go. What you don't see is you have creator here in sorrow reverse. You know, God sees your troubles. God sees what you're going through. This is what a lot of people don't see. Yeah, we all agree with it when somebody says it. You know, somebody like me says it. Yeah, God loves you. Yeah. You know, God knows what your suffering is. Everyone's like, yeah, but how much of it do we really hold on to and believe? You know, because a lot of us are going through something and we just feel like we're alone in it, but you're not alone in it. Tell me about the Hermit, Major Arcana for Virgo. Wow, yes. We have the Devil there, Capricorn Energy, two more cards which you don't see. All right, so Capricorn energy, but it's a card of bondage. And what keeps us in bondage is what holds us back. It doesn't matter. It can be a, a, a literal Capricorn, but usually it's energy. There is something that is holding you back. 
and you're about ready to discover what it is and you are making leaps and bounds and your ascension is going to be on fire my friends let me tell you on fire all right whatever has been keeping you held down bonded keeping you from moving forward for some of you it's been waiting on a connection waiting on a person for some of you it's been delaying leaving a person for some of you it's been confidence self-confidence and just being like i don't know if i can do this you know uh, i have this great ideal or i've i've always wanted to do this or whatever the bondage that has held you back it can be anything this is what you're about to realize and this is what you're about to let go and release and you're not alone now this is past synergy so it's recent past present and near future we have the ace of pentacles and we have the seven of pentacles what you don't realize is something that you've been doing in the past is about ready to come to some sort of harvest here some seed that you have sown that you have watered is about ready to come into fruition it's going to be different for all of you but whatever it is it's something that you put intention to and it's also because you've let go of something negative that was sort of holding you back weighing you down you're about ready to reap those rewards and it's something that you did in the past you sowed a seed in the past and it's about ready to come in for you so now i really just want to get into the present moment I'm not really guided to use this deck yet i will if i need to what is the present energy what is the present energy currently what is the present energy currently i might ask this deck for what's coming what you don't see as like sort of a little thing there show me what it is and the current energy let's make some more room tarot tetris make some more room there we go current energy please we have past lives we have the moon all right this talks about um a lot of things for me it can talk about dreams might be shown dreams seeing things in your dreams um it also tells me about past life connections it also tells me about feelings and emotions okay it's a major arcana now this flipped out this way and then came this way so when it originally would have came out if it didn't hit my hand it would have been reversed but now it hit my hand and it went the other way so this is also another major arcana it's the chariot what's coming here very you know the current energy is like right now and universe's time right now can also be very soon because our time is linear we have a beginning and an end but when it comes to the universe's time there's no it's just all time all together at once and there's no ending so but according to our standards it would be like very close to happening maybe something you dreamt about always dreamt about doing maybe it's something that you said uh, from a past life if you believe in that it, from a past life you were going to come in and do something with another soul or with yourself okay whatever it is that would be about ready to come into fruition and what landed on traveling which is eight of wands in reverse it's about communication it's an eight of wands eight of wands is fast it's it's communication it's travel if there's anything that you was waiting on if you was waiting on communication from a person don't if you was waiting um, for some travel opportunity some information some good news don't don't wait on anything because that's what's holding a person back give me more current energy yes we have mind blown right here mind blown i will have to clarify i think because the download i'm getting is your transformation you what you are ascending to this is what came out in the pre-shuffle this is what you're ascending to all right some of you do have master numbers in your birth charts and i've gotten requests to do a reading for that and and i will but this is the thing we all have the ability to ascend to the most high regardless of your birth chart or your numbers because i'm going to tell you this 
we are all part of one consciousness and when we come down here we become these little individual personalities we identify with our sign our race our culture our age our money whatever we we as uh, we assign and we attach identities to that numbers is a part of that because numbers is a part of duality math is a part of duality as you have one plus one is two you can also have negative two okay when it comes to one consciousness one creator one source one infinite universe and one infinite intelligence there's no room for duality so don't worry if you're an ascended master don't worry if you have master numbers in your chart that means you came here to master something for yourself maybe you're even mastering this life and you're not coming back to earth it can mean so many things but ultimately here it's about ready to blow people's mind here of how this evolution is taking place and like I said right before I started the camera when I was pre-shuffling I heard your evolution is on fire your evolution is on fire and I feel there's going to be some quick changes that happen pretty pretty fast when it comes to your ascension and your evolution there is a lot of major arcana here you're about to be freed from all this because I did feel a little bit of blockage and whatever is blocking is about to just um, you're freeing yourself okay yeah there's something that's been holding you back from attracting what is meant to come to you the empress is in reverse when the empress is an upright everything is possible infinite possibilities pregnant with ideals pregnant with possibilities it's infinite attracting love attracting money attracting abundance attracting spirituality everything what has been holding the empress back the yen back but beyond that what's been keeping what you want from you is about ready to be moved and banished i heard banished because you're going to come into some sort of self-realization of what's been holding you back and you're just going to drop it you're just going to drop it you're just going to be on fire my friends i'm telling you and it's in a good way it's in a good way this is going to be a very quick reading but i will i will do um you know i'll ask some little bonus questions here okay what could help you or any of this because you're about ready to come to this realization whatever is holding you back it just doesn't matter anymore as for some of you i have to say it's a twin flame or something's holding you back from a twin flame either way because i have um i have the four ones and the lovers and those are both my twin flame cards now they're in the reverse so if something has held you back from that that's not going to hold you back but if it's your twin flame holding you back from ascension because you're waiting on them that's not going to be that either so just keep that in mind it's both ways some of you are aligning with a twin there's not going to be anything holding you back and some of you are walking away from a twin because it has been holding you back i understand here we have exhaustion and courage and it takes courage to do whatever it is you're about to do but on the other end of the spectrum you got to look at how that energy has been exhausting to you and it just needs to go already whatever has been exhausting you whatever has kept you on this postponement i'm trying to do a past present future spread but i really just see one whole story coming out it's really a story here and that's how tarot is tarot is more of a story of your evolution in general that's why it identifies with so many people that's why it's timeless astrology puts a time to things but tarot is basically telling your story if you're on this frequency this story will resonate with you and the story it's telling is this is how it's going to play out this is how it's going to play out once you realize what's holding you back and you release it what is coming in for you is happening really really fast you're going to ascend really really fast because it's just one thing holding you back and you realize what it is and it's mind-blowing and it might be literally your mind is holding you back your thoughts your perception oh I have to be with uh, 
my twin flame to do this. No, you don't. They're the catalyst to your awakening so that you can be who you're supposed to be. Oh, I need to do this so that I can do that. Yeah, maybe that's the case. And you release the baggage of whatever's been holding you back. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's your journey. It's about you. It's about you and it's about your ascension. Okay, and we have creator and we have source. It's your journey. It's your journey. You know, this morning I had a whole meditation and I was talking with my spirit guides and I was just in a very deep conversation and we actually started talking about the Bible and started talking about prophecy and it's a it's a touchy subject okay it's a touchy subject but it's a subject that's important if anybody follows um, the crucifixion of Christ then you know at the end he sort of says you know I'm thirsty we get to drink of water they give him a drink of water and it's because that's his last words that's prophecy he fulfilled prophecy for his father if you believe that because I know different faiths don't believe that but if you look at the prophecy that Jesus knew Judas was going to betray him Judas regretted that Judas did not want to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver but he did it then he was remorseful and gave the money back the whole point is in order for this story to be told to be recorded and whether you believe it or not because everybody believes a lot of people believe not everything in the Bible is true or that the Bible is not the truest book or the religious book to follow but what I'm here to say is if these people were following their prophecy from God that this must be fulfilled then wouldn't you too be living your life fulfilling your prophecy for God wouldn't you too be doing that and it's once you realize that whatever has been holding you back it's mind-blowing that you can just move forward you can just move forward you can leave it behind you don't have to have any attachments all you have to do is fulfill your prophecy that's it your prophecy is your agreement what you agreed to do when you came here and just do it it doesn't matter your twin flame don't matter your soulmates don't matter nothing matters but that that should be the one focus here and that one focus will bring everything that you want it was a choice it was a choice now whatever has been postponing is about ready to leave okay because you're looking at your happy place here this eight of cups goes to nine of cups that means I'm looking at what I've been held back by and I'm just gonna go for what I want for what truly makes me happy and I feel that the payoff is big and I feel it is also put you in divine alignment and I feel that it's even gonna blow your mind I feel it's your own thoughts that hold you back and that can be anything sometimes we don't feel we believe we sometimes we don't believe we deserve greatness sometimes um, we feel like we're always gonna get the short end of the stick sorry I moved the camera I hit the camera but don't worry about that what time did I hit the camera close to 1900 19 so I feel that you've been guided here I feel that you're being guided I feel like you're being silent I feel like you have an intuition a nudge I feel like you're spending time alone the high priestess is a, she's alone she's listening she's keeping her downloads her secrets to herself she has uh, divine secrets tell me about the high priestess
maybe I won't even post it. Maybe I got too much talking about um, the Bible. I wasn't trying to go there, but I was just trying to say, I think that we're all here to do what we came here to do. We are fulfilling a prophecy in some sort of way. And I don't know what you created. I don't know what you manifested. But it's about ready to come into harvest. Okay? And a lot of it has to do with getting out of your mind, realizing what's been keeping you stuck. And if that's not literally like saying a connection to source, all right, we have the sun here, card of Leo. Once you connect with source, let everything else go. Your evolution is on fire, my friends. It's just on fire. It's on fire. And I think it's going to blow your mind where it leads you. We have the Magician Reverse. That is Virgo Gemini energy. It's also Mercury. It's communication. When the Magician is upright, the Magician will manifest, co-create with the Divine. That's why the traditional tarot, they hold up the staff to the sky because they're co-creating with the Divine. So it's Reverse. If you don't know which way to go, if you feel you don't have all the tools, what it's saying here, all you got to do is connect with Source. That's all you have to do. And it's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind how fast things turn around, how fast you start attracting things. Because once you're out of your physical mind, once you're realizing that you're so much greater than your physical body, you're going to start manifesting and attracting everything. This is in the reverse and the current energy, but there's going to be a major breakthrough and it's going to be fast because this ascension is on fire. This ascension of yours is on fire. You're about ready to be released from whatever blockage or bondage that you've had. And again, I'm just looking at all, you know, this cycle, the world here. This person is happy. This is fixed energy as well. If you need to know the sign, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. But it's also receiving divine downloads. Look at all of these rays of sun that are coming in. Look, once somebody just connects with source here, you're part of that infinite oneness, which you go from the third eye chakra of seeing to knowing. This is using your intuition. This is using your third eye. But up here is using the crown. And that's what you go with. And then that's when your messages come out of nowhere. That's when you know what to do and when to do it. That's when you know who to walk away from, who to walk toward. That's when you know which job to take, which job to turn down. Ding, there goes my phone. Anything that I can add to this for who's watching? Anything I can add to this for who's watching? Landed on the devil. And for some of you, it's a two of cups, which means for some of you, you're walking away from somebody, and for some of you, Whatever it is that you're tied to is keeping you from the new beginning. The new beginning. Some have to release something and some have to walk towards something. Okay. This was a really fast reading. I'm sorry because I know if you guys are having fun in the chat, you know. But this was so cut and dry. I really don't know what else to say. Trying to do a past, present, future spread and what's come out is basically a whole storyline of release what's holding you back. Release what is keeping you in bondage and it can be anything. It can even be thoughts. But once you connect with consciousness, source, one divine love, that's when you're going to attract everything and it's going to come super, super fast. The postponement is going to be over. And you're going to be walking towards your Nine of Cups, which is your wish, what you wanted. Give me a bonus card. 
this is saying right here this is the magician it says owl magic here's the magician choose to know the truth because you can the truth of why you are here is with source your blueprint your downloads from source that's why you're here it's also saying what you've what you have wanted what you've manifested has been heard and whatever you've manifested can actually happen for you except for you can't manifest an actual person unless they're manifesting you back but if you manifested love Love is what's going to come in. If you've manifested a business, if you've manifested um, having the life of your dreams, it's been heard. You are the magician. Creating it happens a lot faster when you get out of the head and into consciousness. Going from the third eye chakra to the crown chakra. Going from intuition and I'm trying to make the right decision going from that to knowing I know it's the right choice because source spoke to me and I know you are the magician you are the creator of your life and it says on the bonus card be honest with yourself all of your feelings even the difficult ones have a message for you accept your truth then let source take it from there so accept your truth let source take it from there and it says source be honest you're lonely I'm lonely God I'm tired of being lonely you want someone to love I want someone to love God you want this you want that but also be grateful for what you do have you know thank you God I can still use my body or thank you God I can still have my memories thank you God I still have a roof over my head I still have food in my stomach you know for as many things as you can ask for also be as grateful for Anyway, guys, I don't know how you feel about this reading because I know sometimes when I talk too much and I talk about things like um, God or whatever, sometimes people take it funny. But this is the message, so I'm so sorry. Anyway, if you don't like it, you can just tune into the, another reading. I love you guys. I'll see you in your next reading. And thank you for coming into the chat. Thank you for viewing the video. Namaste, my friends.